Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure and set up Scala on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So let's get started. So here is my IntelliJ IDEA IDE welcome window. So first of all, what I need to do is I need to install the Scala plugin and then we are going to create a Scala project. So to install a Scala plugin, you just need to go here where it says configure and then you need to choose the plugins option here. So go to configure and then choose the plugins options. And then here, just choose this option which says install JetBrains plugins. Okay, so when you search here Scala, you will not see any result because you need to search in this section which is called install JetBrains plugin. Okay, so I'm going to just click this option first of all. And then you can see Scala. I can see this option which is called Scala language. Okay, so just select this option and then click this green button which says install, which is going to install this plugin on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So for now, I will wait for this installation to go on. And once it's finished, we are going to just create our first Scala project. So now the Scala plugin is installed in IntelliJ IDEA IDE and it's uh, telling me to restart the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So I'm going to just uh, click this button which says restart IntelliJ IDEA, which is going to restart this uh, IDE once again. And now once this IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been restarted, we are ready to create our new Scala project. So what we need to do next is we just need to create a new project. So we are going to just click this a button which says create new project and now when uh, this new project window opens you will be able to see Scala option here and let's say we want to create a SBT uh, Scala project so we are going to choose the SBT option here on the right hand side and then we are going to uh, click next and here you just need to give the name to your project for example hello Scala for example is the name of my project and then the project SDK is uh, automatically selected uh, for me. Uh, if you want to change it, you will see the options to change it in this drop down menu. Okay. The SBT version is also uh, selected automatically, and Scala version is also here selected. If you want the older version of Scala, you can choose it from here. But for now, I'm going to choose the latest version. And now you can uh, see this option which says create directories for empty content root automatically. Okay, so I will leave this as default and then uh, download sources, sources for SBT plugin. It's going to uh, just download these uh, sources for SBT plugins and sources. So I'm going to leave them also as default and I'm going to just click finish, which is going to create my Scala project. So now this project has been created. I'm going to close this tip of the day option. And then on the left hand side, you can see hello Scala option here. Just click on this option, which says hello Scala. Just double click on this. It's going to open this kind of uh, window here. And then we are going to just open our project. You can see there are some uh, directories here, which is project, for example, or build.spt file is there. And you can see here, at the bottom, it's installing some uh, plugins or some files related to SBT. So you just need to uh, let this process to go on. Once all the SBT plugins or SBT files are installed, we will be able to uh, you know, create our Scala files also, right? By the meantime, what we are going to do is we are going to create our source directory and the target directory. So just right click on your project and then go to new and then select the option which says directory. And in here, we are going to just create a directory uh, structure, which is src forward slash main forward slash Scala and then click OK and you will see this directory structure is created here. Similarly, for creating the target directory, we are going to just right click on the project once again and go to new and then directory once again. And here just write target forward slash Scala. Okay, and then click OK. It is going to create this directory structure also, right? 
now you can see this download is going on so i'm going to leave this to finish so once this spt downloads are complete we are going to start creating our first scala file okay so let's the process to complete first of all you can see the progress uh, in the bottom uh, bar here so once this process is complete we are going to just create our scala files right this is one time process so you just need to uh, let it run for the first time and from next time hopefully it picks up automatically all the required files now in between this process you will see uh, this kind of uh, pop-up window which says project structure and then uh, you will be able to uh, see this OK button. You just need to click OK here. And you will see uh, some extra directories generated inside our source main directory. So these, uh, this directory structure we have created, right? Uh, and some of the directories are generated by SPT and Scala plugin for us, which is Java directory and the resource folder. Similarly, in the targets also, uh, some of the directories and uh, some of the files are automatically generated by this plugin for us. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to just uh, right click on the directory which we have created, which is Scala, which is under source main. So just right click on Scala. And then first of all, let's create a package. Let me name it as uh, demo, for example, and then click OK. And inside the demo directory, we are going to just create uh, a Scala object, for example. So I'm going to just uh, click on uh, Scala class, and then I'm going to change it to object, first of all. And let's say this object is called uh, demo once again, OK? And then click OK, which is going to generate this uh, demo uh, object. And you can see this object is created here under the package demo so inside this demo object we are going to just create a main method first of all and then we are going to just print hello world using print ln and inside the brackets just write uh, hello world in double quotes okay so this is the main entry point for your uh, scala project which is the main method as you may know also from java language for example so now the last step is to run our project so what we are going to do is we can just right click on uh, the file itself. So just right click on this file itself and then just click run demo. It's going to compile and then run your project. And now I can see hello world printed on this console here. So this is how you can uh, configure and set up Scala on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please write, comment and subscribe and bye for now.